All right, guys, this is my uh, Astrophysics Mach 2 mount, and I'm going to show you what I'm using to uh, put this in to store it at my house. So the first thing I've got to do is turn this saddle plate so that these are pointing down. Now, I'm using this tool right here. This happens to be a cobalt. It's a little like thumb type thing for turning with your hand, and it's got a 3 hex bit in it. And I just find it a little easier for me to tighten because I've got arthritis, and depending how it is, it allows me to get extended away a little bit, especially up in here, and it lets me get a little bit better torque on it. And it gives it a nice tight, it's not too tight, but it just makes it just right. So then we're going to turn this down so that the index line, so that the index line here on this plate and then the top here line up. And then we'll just go ahead and tighten everything down. Now the saddle plate that I have on my Mach 2 is a 10 inch saddle plate and it's the type that is for both D style and V style bars and it's the Astrophysics part number D-O-V-E D-V-10. Now the toolbox that I'm using to store this uh, Mach 2 mount in is a rigid brand 22 inch Pro Gear Cart Toolbox. It is the model number 222-573. They are $59 from Home Depot. And as you can see, it does have a handle that uh, does extend. And it also has wheels that work great in the yard for rolling and maneuvering this thing around. They're all terrain type tires. Now I use these rigid boxes, they come in various different forms and I use them for tools, telescope equipment and I really like them. They're made out of a high impact resin, they have heavy duty metal latches and they have a water seal in the lid. The lid actually pulls off. Got two side latches, the lid pulls off, and it has that orange weather seal. And it says uh, that this thing will hold up to 60 pounds of gear. Now there's several things I need to do to pad this before I put the mount in. I'm using two uh, 30 by 60 towels folded up. This is one for the bottom. I put one in the bottom like that. Then I have this foam material that I bought at Home Depot. I think it's something that you're supposed to stand on. It's easy to cut. And I just cut it out for the base. Nothing, nothing special. But that adds just a little bit of protection at the bottom. And then again, I folded this 30 by 60 towel up so that it sits right in there like that. And it rides up the sides a little bit. Now the next step I do, I make sure that the handle is retracted. I just had it extended to show you how that was. So you want to make sure that the handle is all the way down like you see there. The next thing I'm going to do is take my second 30 by 60 towel and 
and put it over the case like you see here with, with it just barely touching the ground in the front and then hanging over the back fully over that handle and that's how I'm gonna set my Mach 2 into just like that so let me get my Mach 2 I stick it in just like this and as you push it down it takes the towel with it which is what you want it gives it the protection then you can pull it where you need it and then you just take and put the towel like this over it and then put your lid on now one thing I did is just to position a little bit better is I just push down and push over and the saddle pulls down in the corner here and it sets in there great now my latitude is 41 degrees north and I wanted something to where I could keep the saddle plate on and not take it off And you can lift it up with the handle. Now something else that I put in that box with the mount on top of it uh, with the uh, towel is this little container. It's a Rubbermaid container and it includes the three knobs that hold this to the um, for the Mach 2 to uh, into the Eagle tripod and then that little tool I was talking about that I used for a little extra tightening on the uh, clutch knobs so I put that in there that way that always stays right with the mount and then the other thing is the power supply that I keep in this uh, Rubbermaid container and it fits in here very well so here you see the power supply that is uh, equipped comes with the Mach 2 mount your power cord is here and then this is the cord that goes into the back of the Mach 2 and just simply put the lid on and everything is self-contained can't lose anything and I like that because it keeps everything in its place if you drop this it can't get damaged you won't lose any parts and um, that's how I like to do things now that Rubbermaid container that I use for the power supply in case you're interested is this particular one by Rubbermaid 1.18 liter or 5 cup and um, And there's the uh, number. And I have I keep these in stock at the house because they're good for so many things. And they come in three sizes. This is the narrowest. It comes with another one that is the same height as two of these put together. And then a uh, much taller one. But the ones that I use the most would be this and the next size up. And here you see both containers inside with the mount and uh, if you wanted you could stick some uh, extra towels over in the corner but this thing doesn't move it's it's stable so I was thinking about maybe I would have to do that but it just stays it's just the right it's perfect it's got the towels along the sides there and in the front and the back and it'll protect the surfaces of the Mach 2 mount
also the beauty of this system is I can take my accessory box, put it on top of the base toolbox with the wheels, and uh, it's mobile. I can because they, they're stackable so that allows me to take this to the observing area in my yard